Welcome back guys to another Tesla video. Today we have a lot to cover, especially some battery stuff. We're going to mostly focus in the Chinese region, especially with the Shanghai Gigafactory popping up. We should be seeing some increased sales, especially in China. If you guys don't know, China has this really big thing for electric vehicles. You have Tesla's rivals like x -Pin. You got NIO, Li Auto. These are the newer, smaller EV stocks and also companies around the block. And they are increasing sales, increasing demand. There's a really big love for electric vehicles over there. So at this current moment, Tesla is scaling up, scaling up in terms of battery production, Model Y production, and also superchargings. So you clearly see that Tesla has a really big love and also emphasis in the Shanghai Gigafactory because that will pretty much represent half a million sales in 2021. Musk wants to be pushing for 1 million sales in 2021. So that's like 50, 55%. That's a lot. So first things first, let's talk about the Tesla Supercharger V3 production because if you guys don't know, the supercharger network in China is really lousy, but the amount of pe people buying Teslas in China have absolutely skyrocketed. So that's pretty unacceptable when you have so many people buying your electric vehicles, but you don't have any amenities or charging locations. And Tesla knows that. So recently they spent like several million dollars to open up a brand new facility right next to Shanghai Gigafactory that doesn't make cars, it doesn't make batteries, it literally only makes the supercharger v3 yeah they made a whole entire factory strictly dedicated to making the supercharger not even tesla has this in its domestic country which is the united states so it's pretty big and they know how many superchargers they need to make they need to make a ton of these because if they're going to be expecting to sell half a million cars in china they're going to be needing enough you know of these superchargers to keep up with demand. Because if Tesla doesn't make these superchargers, all their customers will go to NEO and XPEN, which offer phenomenal charging service. At this current moment, there was an announcement made and posted by Tesla's China's charging team on Weibo, and it's shared by the company's main handle. It's saying full power and smooth all the way. You can clearly see this image. People were actually pretty happy about this, a lot of likes, and this pretty much shows you that Tesla is pretty serious about this. And you also have this tweet from Ray for Tesla saying it's great news and yesterday alone 29 superchargers was switched on across China and also different locations. We should be expecting more and more of these superchargers. Now if you guys don't know about the supercharger V3, these are Tesla's best chargers. It has a peak output of 250 kilowatts which could recharge a Model 3, Model Y, or Model S up to 80% in less than 30 minutes. That's pretty fast, honestly. And at this current moment, we should be seeing the Tesla Supercharger factory making roughly 29 brand new stations in a single day. And these stations will be shipped out to various locations and then set up. And since these superchargers are well welcome in a lot of locations and a lot of facilities and a lot of parking garages, commercial real estate areas, they welcome these superchargers because if they do have these superchargers in their residential areas, well, they're gonna be getting some high-end clients renting and buying their apartments or condos. So it's pretty big. LG will be supplying Tesla Giga Shanghai with some of the coolest batteries on the market. So there's a lot of reports out there saying that LG Energy Solution is on track to become the first company to produce batteries with NMCA materials for EVs. The Tesla Model Y batteries will be supplied by LG's Nanjing plant in China. And this is a pretty incredible battery with 90% nickel. And these batteries are said to be one of the best batteries on the market at this current moment. And will be supplying the Shanghai Gigafactory cars like the Model 3s and especially the Model Ys. There are a lot of rivalries and high nickel batteries in this market. LG knows this, but apparently Tesla seemed to pick LG over Samsung and SK's heavy nickel battery cells. So maybe LG is way better than everyone else. And on top of that, LG also has a lot of experience in other deals at this current moment. For example, involving the development and also mass production of GM's batteries, because guess what? GM is launching the GMC Hummer EV and GM wants to be launching at least 30 electric vehicles by 2025. And what does this mean? You're gonna be needing a ton of battery cells and you will be seeing LG supplying both of these companies. Eventually, Tesla wants to be completely independent because of the Nevada Gigafactory and also the Berlin Gigafactory, which will be the world's biggest battery cell producers. Like seriously, they're even negotiating a massive deal with the Indonesian government because Indonesia is 
advertising that they had the biggest nickel reserves. So Tesla wants to be making a gigafactory in Indonesia to extract the nickel, take it to their gigafactories and their battery facilities, and they could start cranking out a ton of 4680 battery cells because nickel makes lithium ion batteries more dense, thus holding more charge. And the whole reason why the 4680 battery cells were such a genius plan was because they hold more charge and they're so much denser and cheaper to produce. Last but not least is the Model Y production. It's finally beginning in the Gigafactory Shanghai. We should be seeing some massive sales. At this current moment, Tesla stock is a little bit flat. Not much is happening, but it already had a pretty big and fat surge from being at roughly $400. At this current moment, we're seeing roughly 40 Model Ys parked around the Gigafactory Shanghai. So we should be seeing more and more vehicles being added in. The Gigafactory Shanghai is the most important facility, even though it's not the biggest. Should be producing roughly 550,000 vehicles in 2021. 100,000 of these vehicles, because the Berlin Gigafactory will not be operational until quarter two or quarter three of 2021. It's constantly being plagued by delays. Like when they're cutting down trees, the government's like, hold up, you can't really do this right now. There's like hibernating snakes. So it's plagued by delays. And I wouldn't even be surprised if Tesla ships more than 100,000 vehicles from the Shanghai Gigafactory. And Tesla China is aiming to produce roughly 550,000 vehicles on its own in 2021. 250,000 of those will be Model Ys. This is pretty big. And this is why, once again, you have different phases of the Shanghai Gigafactory. They're expanding more and more. And by the way, we should be expecting even higher production volume than 550,000 vehicles in 2022 and 2023. I mean, Tesla is slowly scaling up. They're pretty serious about it. And the only area in the world that has a dedicated supercharger V3 production line. So they're pretty optimistic about what the sales are going to be. They know sales are going to be increasing, especially how China is implementing no fossil fuels within a few years. So everyone is scrambling to buy the next hot electric vehicle. And guess what? Tesla is like a luxury brand. Everyone tries to compare the cars to Tesla and everyone simply wants a vehicle. Thanks for watching guys. Comment below. We have a lot of brand new stuff coming in, especially in the Tesla news sector. A lot of big things happening, especially 2021 will most likely be one of the biggest years for the car manufacturer. We do have upcoming autopilot news. Keep in mind that the autopilot is being updated every five to 10 days. So we will be seeing what the wider beta release for the autopilot is in around January, February, where they release it to the rest of the consumers because at this current moment, only a select few has it. We also should be seeing the production lines and also with the production numbers for the upcoming Shanghai Gigafactory 2, the Berlin, and also the Austin Gigafactory. We also will be talking a lot more about the semi-trucks, which apparently everyone just overlooks. That's about it.